Era Dirkali Ali Toko Sire Koro Keto Ado Deo Mua Nemo Yo Uro Da Koro Kama Ado Deo Uro O Uro Ue Da Ado Kama Bire Na Ake Guti Nemo Yo Ado Tiri Ado Dirkali Ake Nemo Yo Dirkali Ado Uro Ya Ya Ado Ta Sito Karo Ga Ginyak Kajo Ha Ya Do Ede Ake Te Ha O Uro Da Ado Kama Bire Na Dirkali Ake No Ko Koro Kama Neno Ya Ado Tu Ara Ajo Ko Ni Ajo Ko Ko Di Hale Ja Ue Ni I have uh, a whole minister of government staying there that is going to do I don't know what in front of my mother's house. People who have been guarding my mother for the last almost 50 years withdrawn at night. The fact that I've been silent doesn't mean I'm scared. Come for me. Why do what, what, what does my mother have to do with anything? What does uh, my children have to do with anything? Kama shi deenu ni mimi, I'm here. Right? Yeah? They know where I am 24-7. Right? Why, why all this? Intimidate a 90-year-old woman. Intimidate children. Right? If it is me you want, what, come and tell us what you want. Because yeah. they should tell me what they want with my children. Yeah? Do they want? They've removed their security. Now I hear they want to remove their, their personal weapons. So what? Are they wanting to do that because they are planning something? And if they are planning something, yeah, my only plea, don't plan against my mother, don't plan against my children, plan for me. If it is me you want. Leave them alone. What do they have to do with anything? Yeah? Hello everyone and good evening. How are you doing? This is Elijah Gichuru. Welcome to my YouTube channel subscribe to my youtube channel turn on the notification icon so that you get notified anytime i upload a new video now former president of the republic of kenya huru Mugai kenyatta has responded to cs for trade and investments uh, moses Kuria, who had actually uttered very very derogatory remarks towards the mother of uru kenyatta who doubles up as the first first lady of the republic of kenya so uh moses Kuria had said look, maybe you can listen to his video uh, i had said it in kikui but you can actually listen to this video and um moses Kuria said this uh, that now he is a minister of government he is very powerful that he can actually go to the compound of uh, mamangina kenyatta and urinate on that compound and nothing can be done to him because now he has the flag which means he has the power from government and this remarks comes because uh, Moses Kure is one of the people who faced a lot of opposition and oppression from the former regime of Uru Kenyatta he is one of the people who at some point even sat down uh, at a stadium yeah at some point he even sat down at a stadium in Nazimio rally when he decided to storm um that rally you know and the police had to counter him so he has faced a lot of difficulties for defending uh, william bruto and now he seems to come out to defend himself and to prove his part prove that he's very powerful and that he can do anything now uh, because he has the support of the government and nothing can be done to him and true to his word moses Kuria have uttered words that are unprintable you know unprintable words he has been called out by the media he has been called out and recently moses Kuria was called out by the international community now uh there was this u.s trade representative uh she's called is it tay or tai she was visiting kenya a very high level top top level diplomat from united states had come to kenya to uh they deliberate on some trade deals with Kenya and things like that. Now, remember, who's the Minister for Trade? 
Moses Kuria. So who is supposed to meet this uh, high level top diplomat? Moses Kuria. Guys, can you imagine that the trade diplomat refused to meet uh, our trade minister Moses Kuria? Can you imagine that? And she actually confirmed, maybe I can even play you the video. Um, she said that she can't meet Moses Kuria. And the reason we ask the Kenyan media, but the reports have been circulating. The reason why she refused to meet Moses Kuria is because of his tongue, the tongue of Moses Kuria, which utters derogatory remarks. And these things, sometimes we think they only have local impact, but they actually go beyond our borders the internet has made the world a global village and anything you utter on the internet is actually watched globally and people will hold you for your words some things we do we do them um thinking that we are not seen thinking thinking we are powerful thinking we are we, we are what but let me tell you sometimes you need support from somewhere and the words that you ever used somewhere will be your blocking uh, point and that is what happened to Moses Kuria. That trade diplomat refused to meet him, and this is sending a very significant warning to President Uhuru Kenyatta, uh, President William Ruto. Because now, imagine if your trade minister cannot meet with other trade ministers, you can't do trade alone. You can't do trade alone as a country. You'll need a market, even if you produce goods, you need market. All right, you will need market for your produce, you'll also require. Um, to purchase goods from people, you know, to make your products, you need raw materials and you need a market. Now imagine if all the world ministers refuse to engage, Moses Kuria, all the influential, and this is not a, just somebody uh, like that, this is a US top trade diplomat. So if, if ministers refuse to engage you, what will you be doing in that ministry? How you look for opportunities for us who cannot go to US, who cannot go uh, to these countries who have put you in that position as the taxpayers to go and negotiate trade deals and diplomacy? How will you help us? How will you make our avocados, our tea, our coffee to be sold if you can't negotiate deals? So, I mean, that is something that the president needs to look at. And if he cannot tame Moses Kuria, he can give him a ministry that doesn't require international so much international support. And I don't think if there's even that kind of ministry. So guys, um Uru Kenyatta was so mad uh because of the sentiments that um have been issued against his mother, uh those derogatory remarks. And um Uru felt that it is something that is not uh, right to say. Uh, he was saying the mother is a 90-year-old woman. You should just give her peace. She's old now and uh, she's exiting the stage. Why are you um, stressing her out? Why are you making her feel bad? Why are you making it difficult for her to have peace and tranquility that we all deserve as Kenyans? That, um, you that, that is in our constitution. Nobody is allowed to harass anybody. So yeah, guys, that is the reason why uh, Uhuru Kenyatta responded to that comment. And um, I don't know, guys, what what will you say about Moses Kuria? Because is he even he has even been taken to court. In fact, there's a day he even disregarded court orders because he was taken to court. The other day he went and said the the media prostitutes, you know, and it was something that. Even the media I think they have given up on him now uh, because they secured orders uh, to make sure that his language is in line with um, uh, the constitution that doesn't require somebody to demean you, to talk down on you, to harass you, to utter profane, obscene words, you know, to destroy your character, to assassinate your character. But power, they say in literature, power corrupts. And absolute power corrupts absolutely. Okay, so um, as it stands now, honestly, there's nothing, absolutely nothing, you can do uh, to somebody in the rank of Moses Kuria. He's untamable. He's the only person who can tame himself, or the president. Past that, um, 
I don't think there is anybody who can talk to uh, this man to tone down. Anyway, guys, this is a lesson for us as a country. And for even uh, when making state appointments and things like that, it's also important to consider some of these factors. Because some governments will not take will not take these kind of things. You know, as Kenyans, maybe as the country, we can take it, we can take them in. But other governments will not take them in. Other governments will actually not even listen to you, will not even shake your hand, will not even engage you in talks, you know. And you need them, you need them. It's the problem, you need them. Yeah? So it becomes uh, something that is a double-edged sword for the country because um, the country stands to lose but doesn't lose because uh, of what they have done. They are losing because of somebody else uh, who has done something that is out of their control. We can't tame our minister, us as Kenyans. We can't. We can't. Even the courts cannot. Who is going to save us? Who is just going to come to our rescue? Huh? So um, that's a lesson you have learned as a country. Comment down below, guys. What do you think should happen in terms of um, this kind of uh, remarks or making our country better or making politicians accountable for their sentiments and things that they say? Um, because at times it proves very hard. Uh, it proves very difficult to actually hold a government accountable. The opposition right now is, a, is at the brink of um, giving up. It's at the brink of giving up. So really, the checks and balances become a little bit of a, a little bit of um, Herculean task. Yeah? And you know, for a good government, you need uh, opposition. You need people to check you up but not violent opposition anyway. I don't support violence. I don't support destruction of property. I don't support mayhem because it, it beats the logic of even opposition in the first place. Thank you guys for watching this video. This is your guy, Elijah Gishiro. Continue subscribing, commenting, and liking my content. I appreciate your support from the bottom of my heart. But for now, adios. See you in the next video.